The Psychotic Time Wasters present Whose League Is It Anyways? This season starring The Bones Are His Money And So Are The Worms It's PTW Wins He's reaching over your wall, snatching your people up, trying to eat them so you better hide your kids, hide your wife. It's PTW Vogue. Look at her stuff, isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think her collection's complete? It's Daffy Oaks. Presenting the countryside, presenting the peasants. It's PTW King. One little prick is all it takes to realize you've made a great mistake. It's PTW G-Man! He wanted me to ask you to check out his Sapuku vids on his own thing. It's PTW King! He's actually seven dudes in a trench coat! It's Ace this Attorney! What's up everyone and welcome in to match three of season six of Whose League Is It Anyways? The best Commander League game show on the internet where everything is made up and the points are the only thing that matters. In tonight's match, we have PTW King, PTW Wizards Lizards, PTW Guitar Man, and Aestus Attorney. How is everybody doing? Pretty good, pretty good. I'm doing mm -hmm. well, doing well. I'm face deep in takeaway. I'm happy. <laughs> Yee ha! What are those points right. going into match three? Well, okay. in first, you boy, the one to be thirty-three points, followed up by Kink with twenty-eight, and we got Daff at third with twenty-five. We got Wizard right behind at fourth with twenty-four and a half, and Guitar Man coming up the rear twenty points. Being a new season and being the third match, we have our final two contestants for the season who have not shown yet showing. So we'll go ahead and go in turn order and start with PTW King. Uh, what are you playing in season six? I'm playing Tetsuo Imperial Champion. He is an exiled samurai from the plain of Kamigawa. Um, his story has him fighting against literally every single person in our pod. We've got Zero Allen, Lady Orca, we've got Lady Caldera. Like, literally, this guy has literally just fights everybody. I've gone for, a, like, a, an ancestral deck, going with all the other Kamigawa, yeah, tits, the, all, the, sorry, all the other Umazawas from the Kamigawa sets as well. Excellent. This Aestus, what are you playing in Season 6? Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Torsten von Ursus, the founder of Benalia. This deck kind of covers a broad area of time from the old Benalia that he founded to the new Benalia that you find post-mending in Dominaria United. It features a number of heroes from that timeline. His strategy primarily is going to be to bring a bunch of dudes onto the battle to do his brutal will and smash the surrounding area into submission that he may add it to the great kingdom of Benalia. Very nice, very nice. I've got worms. Yeah, you do. <laughs> you nasty. Well, um... With deck introductions done for the season, we've gone over the points, everybody's got their seven. I think we can go ahead and progress towards the start of the game. Uh, well, PTW King, you can proceed to draw. Alright, we're going to play Foreboding Ruins, and we'll show you this mountain. Look at it, it's nice. And we'll tap it, and play this Explorer Scope. Pass turn. So much ramp. <laughs> <laughs> I'll draw. I'll play a forest and I will pass. I will draw a card. I'll set up planes on the field. I will pass turn. All right. I will draw a swamp and I will pass. Untap. Draw. I'm going to play a command tower. Tap one for a Mystic Remora. 
And I will also tap one for a blinding powder. Path turn. I will draw a forest, and I'll tap two for a Sakura tribe elder. You know him, you love him. Steve, pass turn. Draw a card. I will return the planes to my hand. To play a Celestia Sanctuary. Right, well. And I will. I'll discard a planes in pass turn. Uh, all right. I will do the draw line. Play Tainted Wood and tap for two for Citrionic Resonator. I'll and draw. I will turn. I'm going to draw. Untap. Upkeep. Pay the one. Uh, draw. Play an island. Uh, I'm going to suspend this Wheel of Fate with four counters on it. And pass the turn. Draw. I'll play an Evolving Wilds and crack it. And I'll go hit Craig for one. I will take the one. And then I'll sacrifice Sakura Tribe Elder and go get a forest. And then I'll tap two and I will cast Compost. I will drop. Can you, you can't make can any. Gotta use Compost if you want some worms. I will draw a card. A planes, tap three, to play Death of Capuchin Paragon. And that will pass turn. All right, untap, draw, two for Blood Artist. I'll play Gruel Turf and bounce Tainted Wood back to my hand. And pass turn. Okay. Untap. More paper fish. Sorry. No more fish. Play a swamp. Tap. Don't run any mana. Tap three. The Tetsuo. Tap one. Put the scope on the Tetsuo. Pass the turn. Untap. Draw. I'll play a forest. And I'll tap four. For Drum Hunter. It's a 2 2 at the beginning of the end of my turn. If I control a creature with power 5 or greater, I may draw a card and I can tap it to add 1 mana. I'll pass. What does Compost do even? Uh, I whenever can't... a black card is put into an opponent's graveyard, I may draw a card. Path the least resistance here. I'm going to tap 2 and use that to play a Sakura Tribe Elder. Whom I will sacrifice to get a land, and then that will pass turn. On tap, draw. We're going to pay two for rampant growth. We will play Rakdos Carnarium for land for turn, bounce the forest to my hand, pass the turn. Um, tap in. Mm. Well, that's fine. It's a perfect time to remind everybody that the uh, seasonal rule is to have exactly 30 mana value of permanence in play, not more, not less, and you must say Magic 30 whoopee do when you get there. I shall remember this. We will play a mountain for turn. Uh, I'm going to combat. Who has blockers? I've got a 2 2 of Vigilance and Life Link. Cool. Oh, first strike visions and life link. Wizards, what's that over there you got? I've got a 2-2. Two, two. Cool. I'm going to swing a 3-3 three, three at you. 3. On attack, there's a trigger. I'll play Ponder for free. I'm going to put them back in this order. And I'm going to draw a card. And uh, you'll take 3. I'm going to pay 5 for a creative technique. And... Guitar Man, you may demonstrate. Oh, which one's that again? Creative Technique. You shuffle your library and reveal cards from the top until you reveal, reveal a non-land card. Reveal uh, 
Exile card and put the rest in the bottom of your library in a random order. You may cast the exile card without paying its mana cost. Alright, well, let me shuffle again. Oh. Your cards. Show and tell. Cast <laughs> my down. Shot. I'll get an arcane signet and a show and tell. Uh, from cast down. There's only target. one cast down target. It's a wizard's thing. Oh, okay. Okay, Signet, and uh, we'll do show and tell. Oh, we got a pan glacial worm. I'm gonna drop a Torbukui the younger. I'm gonna put down a Jazal gold main. Come out of sphere. There we go. Lovely, nice bit of chaos, and I'll pass the turn. Untap and draw. Play a forest. I'll tap four for Baru. And uh, I'll go to combat, and I'll swing at Craig. For what? For 11-7 trample. My god. I'll take 11. Last turn. I draw a card. Yes, it is a card. Uh, play a land. Okay. 3-4. <laughs> Well, you said to play Sigil of the New Dawn. Nude. <laughs> I'll then tap my remaining forest. I will tap one to equip. Well, to enchant. Danitha captures and Paragon with one with nature. She will then swing at the Guitarman for two. Take the two. And because she did combat damage, I will search my deck for a basic land card and put that into play tapped. Hmm. It does look fine. Look, it was fair. We just switched life totals. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. It's, <laughs> I'm not, it's not devastation. This is just utility. All right, I will play a planes, and then I will pass turn. Untap. Draw. Play Savage Lands. We will tap Rakdos, Carnarium, and Grill Turf for. Zero. Then we will gladly go to combat mm -hmm. and swing a three three zero in the air over at wizards. And take three in the air. We will tap two to tap Citrionic Rift to copy her ability. So I'll put a uh, egg on both of Craig's creatures. Do I have to go get eggs from my kitchen and put whole eggs on this? <laughs> actual I eggs on my board. I would appreciate it if you would. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I have enough eggs for the whole game. Yeah, egged. And then yeah, my... that's the turn. I'll untap, upkeep, and a Darawa. We're going to play a Swamp. We're going to play six. For an Aki Battle Squad. Whenever one or more modified creatures you control attack, untap all modified creatures you control, and there is an additional combat phase. I am not sure if an egg counter counts as a modified creature. I believe Counters it does. Yeah. Yep. Thank you You're very welcome. much. You're welcome. <laughs> Guess where the Tor Wakui is coming, Kutama. <laughs> Oh, that's rude. <laughs> Bro, I be samurai. -ing. This is not going to be very nice for you, Guitar Man. I'm going to swing both of these at you. I got um, an attack trigger on Tetsuo and an attack trigger on the Explorer's Scope. <sighs> the attack trigger on the Tetsuo, I will ping the 4 4 and it will do an extra 1 damage because of Torbukui. So it will do 2 damage. And then they will untap because of the Aki. I will reveal the top card. I'll look at the top card. I'll put, I will not put it into play. How much uh, damage is coming at me? Six. And three uh, of seven. Its commander. Seven. And three of its commander. Because I don't know. Torbukui, the plus one, doesn't count towards commander damage, I don't believe. So yeah, seven total. Three commander. And then we'll swing Tetsuo at Asus. We'll do another two damage to the 
four four. Okay. That should kill it. And uh, it's a three three coming at you, Commander. I'll take three points of damage. Cool. Like I said, you do you do two things. He do samurai and he do fireball from the sky. Alright, again like What he do is and... piss off the entire Banalian army. What he do is do that, yes. I'll ping Craig for one. Yes, sir. And I will pass the turn. Um on my upkeep everyone will wheel. Just so you know. Why is that? Uh, Wheel of Fate has one counter. Oh, yeah, I forgot you did that. I'm just letting everybody know. Untap and drop. I'm going to tap three for Heartwood Storyteller, and then I'm going to swing 11 at Craig. Fuck you. Is it trample? <laughs> yeah. It's an 11 7. I'm going to chuck to Tobakui underneath it. That will block three of it, and I'll heal three, and I'll take one. But your creature won't die, but an egg counter creature will die. We'll draw a card when that goes to the graveyard. Cool. Great. I'll ping wizards for one and gain a life. I get pink for how much? Just one. Only one creature died. Oh, from a creature dying, gotcha. Oh, and I'm supposed to draw off an egg exploding as well. Yeah, UV. I think I will pass the turn with that. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the Plaza of Heroes for seven. And we will pull Torsten to the field. Ruh row. All right, top seven cards revealed. At least these are going to be a planar gate, which I really wish I had. An hour of reckoning. Death of Benalia's hope. The plains. March of the multitudes. One, two, three, four, five. A plains. And an Akrumba's memorial. I needed like most of that. That doesn't come anywhere. This plains goes to my. Where is my hand? There it is. Planes goes to my hand, that doesn't. Planes goes to my hand, Dantha goes to my hand, and the rest of these go to the bottom of the deck. Yay. That was pretty shit. Well, that's probably the worst one you could have done. Yeah. <laughs> All, pretty much every card is at the bottom of the deck I needed, like, right now. But that's okay. That's the way these things go sometimes. All right. Well, that's all that I can pull off, so I'll pass her. <laughs> all right. Untap. I need your card. Draw. I'm going to play a force for Lance Return. You're going to pay one, two, three, seven, and eight for in raise four runners. And we're going to swing uh, zero. And the insect over at, we're going to give Craig a little feel of the swinging at me. Yeah. Oh, well, let's do in rays as well over at you. So, five, uh, <laughs> commander in the air, uh, three extra coming in the air, and seven on the ground. Cool. All right. Did anything die? Did not. All right, pass turn. Untap. Uh, upkeep. Where the fate goes on. In to response the to the trigger. Cool. Yeah, I have a response to. Hey, yeah, Craig, you are you gonna swing at me this turn? I'm going to try not to die this turn. Okay, fair enough. I'm gonna tap two, and I'm gonna cast Ram through. Targeting the Blood Artist. I'll deal 11 damage to it. You arse. Alright. And whatever damage is excess to killing it will be dealt to your face. That is 10. 
All right. Well, I will gain a life, and wizards, you can take one. Seems fair. Yeah, in response to Trigger. Oh, also, um, you may all draw a card when I cast that. Okay. I will draw. Uh, I will not draw a card. <laughs> yeah, actually, we're about to will, so yeah. I didn't see Also, that. I already know what that card is because my Explorer scoped. I will not draw. But I will, um, I will cast this two-handed axe. You will choose not to draw. No, we choose not to draw, and I'll cast this two-handed axe and target my Tetsuo with it, giving it double strike and exiling it. Is that a sorcery? No, it's an instant. Damn. Okay, and then we'll wheel. I discard this unexpected windfall and draw seven. Everyone discard their hand and draw seven. I'll discard four cards and draw seven. I'm getting sick and tired of all of my answers going away. <laughs> well, stop asking questions then. What right. question did I ask you? <laughs> you don't have answers if you don't ask questions. Look here, Englishman. <laughs> I'm not sick of your shit. <laughs> oh, how many uh, black cards did you guys discard this turn? And none. <laughs> How many? Black is not in my color identity, so zero. None. One, two. Also, that cast down went to your graveyard after you cast it, by the way. Yeah. Cool. I drew off of that. Okay. We're going to pay four. We're going to play a packed weapon. We're going to play an island. We're gonna I will tap draw two. when you play that. Okay, we're gonna tap two and I'll equip the pack. We're gonna equip the packed weapon to Tetsuo. What does this, that do? As long as packed weapon is attached to a creature, you don't lose the game for having zero or less life. Whenever a equipped cool. creature attacks, draw a card and reveal it. If the creature gets plus X plus X, and you lose X, where X is my creature, where X is the card's mana value. Equip is discard a card. Sorry, I should have discarded the island. I'm going to also pay two and equip, equip Blinding Powder as well. That's what I meant to do. Mm. Okay. We're going to go to combat. We're going to swing at Chase with Tetsuo. There's a couple of triggers going on the stack here. Tetsuo trigger. We are going to go with a Twin Inferno. And the Twin Inferno will be the first mode, and it will be the next instant you cast a turn, copy that spell. Backed Weapon will reveal an Erebus, and I will lose seven, and Tetsuo will gain seven. Holy shit. Three, four, five, six, seven. So Tetsuo will be swinging at you, Guitar Man, for ten double strike. Does it have Trample? It do not have Trample. I fucking wish it do. A block with this insect. Jump cool. block. Second combat. We will swing at Chase again. <laughs> we will layer it the exact same way. Explorer scope first, Tetsuo second, and Pack Weapon third. Um, we will reveal with the Explorer scope. I I'll put that mountain into play tapped. And uh, Tetsuo will play this Ancestral Vision, and I'll copy it because of the Twin Inferno, and I'll do that twice. And then Pact Weapon will be two, I'll lose two life. When you play Twin Flame and uh, Ancestral Vision, we all have the option to draw a card. I will take oh. that option. Okay, sorry, are they both of the instants, yeah? I'll draw, and I'll draw. And I will block Tetsu this time with Enrays. Cool. That is fine. I'm going to pitch on the top through Paradise. Rabbit Battery. And pass the turn. On your end step, I'm going oh, to and, um, Sorry, I will also Maru pitch. To make a I'll, I'll also pitch. I'm going to pitch his Ancestral Memories. I'm going to play a Forest. Yep. Tap. Three for Rites of Flourishing. Everyone can draw a card. Nice. Yeah. I'll play an additional forest. 
and tap it for a veteran explorer and go to combat. No ghost. I have a Craig. Well, Craig doesn't die if I reduce him below zero, so it doesn't really help. Yeah, but what what if someone removes the artifact that's keeping him from... <laughs> I'm going to swing at Asus. All right, what are you swinging at me? I'm swinging at you with an 11-7. Trample. All right, I'll block it with Torsten and make seven dudes. And you take four. I take four. And... I will pass my turn. I discard one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards in my hand. I'll discard uh, instill energy and a forest. And I'll draw two cards. Play a planes. Are I'll the insects you... black? All right. I will tap one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, you said to play a Sarah Avatar. His power and toughness at this point are 34. Nice. I will tap the green to play a Llanowar Elves. Uh, all of my plans. I'm taking you as pointless. Past turn, discarding a planes. Untap. Draw. All right. Pay two to go for the throat, targeting Tetsuo. Interesting. Um, in response, I will unequip. Draw a card to that. I too will do that. Not will, you, our man. Not you. I'm, okay, I'm going to unequip Blinding Powder and prevent all combat damage that will be dealt this turn before he dies. Uh, all right. Death to that creature. I thought that was a fog when I read it. And then I'll draw two cards off of compost. <sighs> I'll make another insect. Draw. Right, gonna one black and tap grilled turf for flesh bag marauder. And I will target. Oh, do I want to copy it? Oh, do I want to copy? Yes, I do. I'll pay. To and tap Cytrionic Rift to copy Flesh Bag. Trionic Resonator? <laughs> yeah, you, you know what I'm. Cytrionic! So I will target Flesh Bag and the insect that came in cannot attack. I'll sacrifice Veteran Explorer and my worm, and we can all get two forests or two basic lands into play untapped. Craig, would you like two basic lands into play untapped? I would love to basic lands in play untapped, although they will not yep. do anything. Oh. I'll drop from the flesh bag off of comp. Oh god! That's not what's supposed to happen. Uh, play a land, I did not work. Play Carplusion Force for land for turn. Two black, and we'll go to combat. We'll swing zero in the air over at here. We'll do Craig for... <laughs> Another three in the air, and we'll put the counter on... Heartwood Storyteller and my commander. I'll put it on Baru. Then... I'll pay one and two black to murder your commander. Uh, we can all draw in response to that. And in response, I'm going to tap four and cast Lure of Prey. Play only if an opponent casts a summon spell this turn, and put a green summon card from your hand into play as though it were just played. I will choose Elder Scale Worm. It will be a 9-9, nine, nine, and if, it, if my life total is less than 7, it becomes 7, and if my life total were to be brought below 7, it becomes 7 instead. But since it's a 9-9, nine, nine, I can tap 1 and tap Baru to make a Worm. You can all draw to that if you didn't. And then Baru will die. Take a egg. And when your card hits the graveyard, I'll draw off of compost. Yep, about to draw all right. I'll draw off of zero ability. <coughs> and I will pay one to... Uh, I'll tap it for black. For a battlefly swarm. I will pass the turn. 
Untap. <coughs> Draw. Draw twice. Draw twice. Yeah, Rights of Flourishing is still on the board. Discard. It's only been one turn second. Hunter. I'm going to play these two swamps a turn. We're going to tap one swamp and a mountain. We're going to play Toshiro Umazawa instead. Uh, for Enthusiastic Mechanaut. It will reduce my artifact spells by one. And then we're going to play an Erebus the Binding Blade. Oh no, six for even, so we'll leave the command tower on top. Untopped. Paying one. To equip Erebus the Binding Blade. To Shiro. And we will discard a mountain to equip a packed weapon to the enthusiastic mechanaut. And we will pass the turn. Untap and draw and draw again. I'm going to tap two for a druid class. You can all draw to that. I'll play a reliquary as my first land for turn and gain a life. I'll play a forest and gain another life. I'll tap three to upgrade druid class so that I can play an additional land. I'll play a forest and then I'll tap seven. For the world spell, you can all draw to that. And I'm going to skip right to the last chapter, where it lets me put in two big ol' permanents. I will choose Symbiotic Worm when it's put into the graveyard from play. Put 7-1-1 green insects into play. And I will put in Sandworm Convergence. Creatures with flying can't attack me or planeswalkers I control, and at my end step, make a 5-5 five five green worm. Alright, well, I wasn't attacking you anyways, but... Well, it's funny you say that, because I'm going to go to combat. <laughs> I'm going to swing a 4-4 four, four worm at you, Guitar Man. I feel like if I don't block it, it's going to get bigger. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to so... risk it and take 4. Said the actress to the bishop. All right, well, I will pass my turn, and I have a reliquary tower, so no discard. Draw. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Deploy a Trostani Discordant. Mm -hmm. I'll tap one. Yes. To put a blade of selves on the board. How many cards may I have drawn from Ace the System? Um, one at this point. What? I may draw that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. Three, four. To play a Reveille Squad. What's that do? Uh, whenever I'm attacked, the Reveille Squad is untapped. I may untap all creatures I control. God damn! Weird. Well, this for gosh. one, those for two, and that for one. To attach a blade of selves to the Sarah Avatar. Oh no. Oh. The Sarah Avatar will attack. And everybody now has a 34-34 avatar attacking them. Yikes. Sweet. Jesus. Well, oh. God, man, you got blockers? <laughs> I do have blockers. I wish I had a black up. So the... <laughs> All right. So does it have trample or anything? No, it does not at this point have trample. I don't like That's, how you yeah, said at did. this point. Well, I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna lie and say there's no way it could like it's not something that can happen, but it hasn't gonna, happened yet. You're tapped out right now. Right? Yes. Ah, uh, okay. All right. Uh, so yeah, we could block with one know. of my insects. That's fine. Right. I will declare. I'm not blocking. I'll oh, take okay. thirty-four. I'll block with Symbiotic Worm. Right. Uh, how do you put minus on this? 
I should have done I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. My creature will die, and I'll make seven insects. All right. Then I will discard one, two, three cards. And call that an end of my turn. All right. On tap. Hey, Craig, does your yeah. artifact get around commander damage? Uh, no, it does not. Hmm. Nothing gets around commander damage. I, I was just curious. For no don't, particular reason. Don't ask ominous questions. I mean, Ace, you, you've seen the other two players' boards. I have literally nothing. Oh, yeah, no, no. I was just... Asking, uh, I'm just curious. Know. Just, just asking for a friend, guitar man. Yeah. All right. Just trying to stay informed, you see. Yeah, I mean that's actually all it was. No need to worry. Chase, I hate you so much. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean, bring it if you're gonna bring it. Don't chat. Just, just do it. Just put the gun to my head. It put me on my misery. I think what he's saying is, come and have a go if you think you're odd enough. Uh, Isn't Craig cool. already dead? Oh, oh, wait, that's right. He can't take, die from <laughs> zero life. <laughs> he can't <laughs> die yet. <laughs> All right, I, have, well, I have a packed uh, weapon here. I May I just clarify? Tar- what? Morag. You got plus two off the end raise. Yeah, three. Yeah, you have eight marked on me. Yeah. Yeah, I can't. I can't. I, it was literally just out of curiosity. No, no, it does not get around. Nothing gets around commander damage. Commander damage is like a fixed thing. It's to stop because everyone was worried about white being too powerful when they started the, the format and having life gain decks, and that turned out to be bullshit. All right, I will pay three for generous patron and i'll put port two put a plus one plus one counter on each foot to two uh we'll put one on zero and i can't put both on zero can i no but you can put two on my uh mechanaut if you want and then draw a card or you can put one on my worm yeah you draw cards of anything in my umizawa Aces uh, is chaff. Like Aces has chaff over there. Chaff. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, soldiers of Manalia. Thank you very much. Yeah, That's chaff. True. That's true. Uh, I want to put one of them on a zero, and I'm put the. If you don't come at me, wizards, with that scary board, I'll put it on your worm. I promise anything, Guitar Man. All right. Ace this? <laughs> Same. Uh, I'll put it on yours. Just don't come at me. It's a fascinating prospect. What are the terms of this arrangement? One turn. And my benefit? Uh, I put the plus one, plus one counter on whatever creature you wanted to go on over the. All right. Why the hell not? All right. Wow. I did not think you would go for a single plus one plus one counter. All right. I'll draw. I'm curious to see what happens. Yeah, I mean, he draws a card when he gives it to you as well. Yeah, that's, that's all oh. for right now. Yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go to combat and swing zero in the air. Yeah. And we'll we'll swing everything in the air over at You can swing it at me, but you're just gonna make my number bigger. I mean it doesn't matter at this point. Yeah, but I just made a deal with Asus, so I don't wanna turn around and smack him. I mean It wasn't count- part of the deal, but it, it would be rude. So yeah, I'm just gonna swing it at Craig. Counterpoint. Just yes. swing your commander at me because I can't I don't really want to block your commander and you may as well leave the other two open as blockers because I'm not going to block anyway 
I mean, they'll they'll be fine. Unless okay, you, right. You so don't we'll, have any flyers or anything. I haven't put I, a lamp for this turn. I do have a flyer. Oh. <laughs> It is only a 2-2, and it has the packed weapon attached to it, so it probably won't block. But you're just making the number bigger. And can... I, I don't see the point, but I'm just trying to help. Well, that's fine. Tell me the number I'm going down by. <laughs> yeah, I'm just... Uh... You have a very good point. <laughs> uh, as I said... You can swing it, wizard. Wizards won't block your death touch, but butterfly swarm. I guarantee it. I can't attack him with creatures that have flying. Oh, okay. Well, fine. Make my number go down. Yeah. <laughs> I'm an honorable man. I don't want to turn around and uh, uh, swing at Aestis after I just made a proposition with him. The I Empire do. of New Benalia. One, See two. is the conduct of an honorable man. Uh, Minuses doesn't really work. So All right, you uh, are taking. I was on thirty-two. Four, five. You're taking six. I'll be on forty, and four of that commander damage. Yep. Main Your two. second. You main two. Did you play? Have you played a land? You're playing a land. Yeah, but... We're going to play land, bounce swamp. So all that will untap. Oh, I'll put uh, the egg counter on your worm over this there. One? Yeah. Play a forest instead. Then we're going to pay one, two, three to dark banishing the worm that I just put the egg counter on. Dark banishing? Yep. Destroy target non-black creature. It can't be regenerated. Well, we can all draw to that. Yep. And then that resolves. Alright. And draw off and then go into the, the graveyard, graveyard. I'll draw a card. And everything has plus one, plus O. And we'll go to combat and we'll swing one of the insects and zero. What's uh, making it where I can't attack you with flyers. I'll swing one of the insects and zero over at I'll just rack up on Craig's. Yeah, you keep racking me up, bro. Commander damage and I'll put an egg on another one of Wizard's creatures. Cool. So you, what you had uh, Did the insect attack twice? It did, didn't it? Yeah. So they both have another plus one, yeah. Oh. Okay, I'm off. Minus 47. All right. I'm fine. Yeah, so that's five more, Commander? Yeah, I'm on it. Yep. I got it. And then I will pass the turn. Okay, yeah. untap. I will draw twice. I'll play a cloak testery, I'll reveal a swamp. And then I'll play a swamp. Same swamp. Aestus. Yeah. Do you, have, do you have any flying creatures? Not at the moment, no. Okay. I'm going to get in on you, but not for a lot, but only because I have to. Uh-huh. Uh, it's probably only going to be like three damage. I wouldn't worry about it. I just want to explain that to you before we do this. Mm-hmm. There's no tricks or anything. Okay, I don't so know if I believe that coming from Tetsuo, but okay. <laughs> we're going to pay one. And we're going to put Erebus on uh, Enthusiastic Mechanaut. And we're going to discard Toshiro Umazama. And I'm going to put the Pact Weapon on Toshiro Umazawa. And I will swing Enthusiastic Mechanaut at Asus for three damage total. Three damage were taken. Cool. This is why I had to, because when it does damage, Elberus unequips and transforms into something that will block Katarman's commander. A 13 13 intimidate, intimidate flying trample. Nice. We're going to pay blue and a red. 
for the uh, Joyra. And don't want to play that as well. We'll go a black, we'll pay two of these blacks here for a Nightscape Familiar. So pay this red and this black for the Kedus. And I shall pass the turn. Untap. Draw two. I will play one, two, three lands per turn and gain three life. Then with all of these lands, I'm going to tap five and upgrade Druid class to turn this land into a creature with power and toughness equal to the number of lands I control. Great! So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Then I'm gonna tap one, two, three, four, five for Traverse the Outlands. Search your library for X basic land cards where X is the greatest power among creatures you control. It's 16. We will draw a card, right? Yeah, you can all draw a card to that. I don't think it's going to matter, Kirk. <laughs> it, it definitely did. I'll get 11 and then I'll fail to find. Jesus! A 16, right? 37? Nope, 27. That's math. A 2727. Very cool. <laughs> then let's go ahead and tap five. I just Reach felt back, up for a moment. I wasn't even conscious of it. The music took over. 27 plus 27 until end of turn. <laughs> I'm going to go to combat. Do uh, it. Play a quick spaghetti western sound. I'll swing three insects at Aestus and three insects at Guitar Man and one more insect at Aestus and a worm at Guitar Man. All right, so what am I dealing with right now? You are dealing with what appears to be four 2828 uh, tramples. Mm hmm. No big deal. No. <laughs> All right, well, all of this untaps. <laughs> One of those worms gets blocked to no effect. So it gets blocked and it will die. There's four. All right. I see you. You just decided that I was the one to die. All right. So no. Guitar Man are both going to die. Yeah, you, Guitar Man is probably also going to die. Uh, Craig would too if he didn't have that packed weapon. <laughs> I mean, look at him. <laughs> I'm minus 47 and happy. There is no real answer here. That's irritating. If it makes you feel oh. any better, I'll kill Craig too. Go for it. Uh, no, nah, I would rather win, actually. Oh, okay. I guess I'm dead. All right, what's what's coming at me again? You have four creatures coming at you that have plus twenty seven, plus twenty seven, and trample. <laughs> you thought he's like shit. <laughs> I'll block what I can of it and die. Um. We'll block with Zira first, and then Battlefly Swarm, so that both those go to my grave. Draw two was. God, I wish I could make you deck out. <laughs> All right, uh, yeah, and then I'll block the rest coming at me with the one insect, generous patron, and Marag, and die. So one worm dies, one insect, and I'll pass it back to Craig. I swear to God, if I win here, I'll be so happy. Draw. Draw. 
play an island for turn first. Tap that island to preordain. Go to draw a card. Both those can go to the bottom and I'll draw something useless. I'll play that swamp. Okay, what we're going to do here is we're Craig, going to. Craig, I hope you win. We're going to pay three for the two handed axe. No, that's not three. One, two, three. One of those is red. We're going to pay two to put the two handed axe onto. Uh, within Gar Unbound. Don't forget that creatures with flying can't attack me. I forgot creatures with flying cannot attack you. Hmm. What kind of blockers do you have? I have a 5-5, five, five, a 2-3, and a 27-27. I don't like those numbers. They're good numbers. They're very good numbers. What I'm going to do, I'm going to tap Joyra, and I'm going to put the Blade of Oni into play. Because she gets two engineering counters. Um, we'll keep the two-handed axe. We'll keep the two-handed axe on there because I did it, and you reminded me afterwards. And I'm an honest man. And play these bronze bronze cudgels for free because of um, this reduces it by one. And I'm going to pay one to equip it to Toshiro Umazawa. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. All the colors. Keep these colors here, untapped. I'm gonna play Tashiro, Tatsuo even. And I will pass the turn. I'm cat. Draw two. What have you got in your graveyard? Uh, creature wise, enchantment wise, sorcery wise. So in general, what do you got? Uh, Preordain, Tatsuko, uh, Ancestral Memories, Rabbit Battery, Ornithopter, Ancestral Vision, Twinferno, Island, Wheel of Fate, Unexpected Windfall, Tobakui, Show and Tell, Creative Technique, Honda, and Mystic Remora. I'm going to tap four and cast Healing Technique, targeting Moments Peace, and I will have you demonstrate. Healing Technique does what? Return a uh, card from your graveyard to your hand, and gain life equal to its CMC. Hmm. We will take Twin Ferno. Okay. With the copy that I make from you demonstrating, I'm going to get Ram through. Cool. You're getting two cards, total CMC of four. One, two, three, four. I'll tap six and cast Baru. Cool. I'll tap two and attempt to ram through your Tetsuo or, or uh, Toshiro. How much mana do you have untapped? A whole bunch. I need to know exactly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. That's too much. How, uh, sorry, how many of those um, cards may I have drawn off? Sorry. Both of them. Both of them. I would do those. Sorry. Play. <sighs> Rampru does what? Damage. Target creature deals damage equal to its power to target creature I don't control. And if the creature I control is trample, excess damage is dealt to its controller instead. I'm having the 7-7 seven, seven worm hit Toshiro. The 7-7 seven, seven worm. Yeah. No. We're going to try something stupid. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and cast a Twin Inferno. I'll do uh, that. You draw for that. Uh, next instant or sorcery, I may copy it. Does that resolve? Yep. Cool. Before that resolves, I'll cast... Oh, sorry, after that resolves and before your next one resolves, I'll cast a whirlwind denial and copy it. Okay. So you have to pay eight. I will not pay, and it will be countered. Cool. 
You're going to tap three. For Balaged Recovery. You can draw for that. I'll put Ram through back in my hand. <laughs> I'll tap two for Ram through. You can uh, I will draw. I have no mana. I will die because I know where your target is going to be, and there's nothing I can do again. Seven it. Worm is going to deal damage equal to its power to Toshiro. Fuck. GG, my friend. GG. That packed weapon, the hell of a card. Yeah. Oh my god. I was five cards off my magnetic theft. God damn it. Uh, looks like that'll be the conclusion of match three, season six of Whose League Is It Anyways? Oh, I never even checked if I had 30 CMC. Oh, you foolish fools! I'm bad at this. I did, you and totally I totally did at one point, but I wasn't going to tell you. <laughs> no, I... Well, maybe. I, I didn't. I know I didn't. I checked. Oh, no, I'm talking about Wiz. Who oh, really? cast their commander the most? I think Simon and Craig both had two. I cast twice, yes. I like this deck very much. <laughs> well, are we ready to get into some voting? I believe we are. Sounds right to me. Yeah. Is it MVP first? Oh, the theme points go first. The theme points go first. Um, hmm. Two to the worm. Definitely two to the worms. Uh, we will give one to the assassin B because that was fucking annoying. Why, thank you. And two now? I'm going to give three to Tetsuo. You did a, like, you really did the deck, and it was flavorful with characters from. Tetsuo's story. It was pretty nice. And then I'll give two to Torsten. Also, just like shout out to that intro that you gave. Thank you, thank you. Mm hmm. That was a boss ass intro. Well, left to me, I think I'm going to have to give some serious theme points to just the Tetsuo Samurai Gang. Because I don't think you get much more iconically samurai than one dude with a sword and 85 arrows sticking out of his face that refuses to die because mm -hmm. honor will not allow him to take a knee and fall before the job is done. So <laughs> I definitely put points there. I think my second will go to Bar the Worm Speaker because he, he calls worms and worms were called. Yeah, y'all y'all demonstrated your theme really nicely. So, I'm going to give the three points to Aestus, in part because of his amazing intro, but also he was really doing the trying to start up up finale over there. Really well at it, and we'll give uh, we'll give the two to Craig. He did do the crazy samurai shit. Crazy undying samurai. But wizards, you did worms about just as well. Like uh, it was a hard choice. <laughs> what? Oh, what does chat say? That's been going back and forth. Oh, it looks like they've decided on the assassins. Nice. Thank Zira. you, Chad. You're the only thing that matters. <laughs> <laughs> you should just win the season off the chat, mate. Right? That's it. Flash his play. Flash his play.
Theme vote was hard though. We all really played our thematic decks. It was really cool. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Like big booming splash. I feel like Aestus had a board out of nowhere, like in the middle of a turn, and I don't know why. <laughs> like I was paying attention and just suddenly Aces had an angel and then like tokens and just everything. And I, I still to this moment don't know why or how. So, well, I mean, they were they were played normally, the 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 thing that the the one thing that the Sarah Avatar managed to do was that I equipped her with a blade of selves. That was it, yeah, the blade of selves black. Which that gave her myriad. Good. So like, the myriad play yourselves. Yeah, that's a nice splashy play. Yeah, that was you can have that for that. I'll take um, it. Wizard had a twenty killed you both with twenty four twenty four attackers. Yeah, that was I, gross. I feel like that has to be two hundred and twenty seven that turn. Yeah, I feel like that just by default has to be has to be awarded points. Oh yeah, I'd know. Yeah. So I'll do I'll do that way. Three two. Uh, is this three? Two, is it three what? two for splashy? Is it three two for splashy or two one? For no, splashy? it's two one. We're just a little extra for the theme. And two for Aestus, one to wizard. Uh, Guitar man, what was the card that was giving you multiple swings with Zira? Uh, Morag. Oh Marag. yeah, the, the Morag with Zira into assassination spells was very very cool to see. So I'm gonna give two to that. And then I will give one to, uh, yeah, Aestus swinging with the Blade of Selves. Like, I, I would give the splashiness to oh. Craig for just taking oh. it on the face, but that's not really a play. <laughs> that's, a, that's a lack of a play. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's not giving a shit. Well then, I suppose that the splashes play should go to the one, the wizard. To have a board state that suddenly goes from threatening to globally lethal in one turn. I believe demands some recognition. And I do that Despite the fact that that is ultimately the thing that killed me. <laughs> I'm still deeply annoyed by the fact that that killed me, but I have to give it credit. <laughs> I think the second splashiest play is probably... Going, but I, I hadn't really been thinking about it, but now that you talk about it more, those assassinations were pretty much on point for what Zero was going to do. And it was, like, yeah. it, it, it was pretty pretty legit just knocking creatures off the board like that so I'm not sure I, I, I remember it well enough to isolate it to a single play but I'm going to give the point to Guitar Man regardless there was a good bit of splash in this game but yeah I, I definitely have to give it to Wizards his board cat oh fuck I'm dead incredibly fast uh, we'll, we'll give it to uh, Aestus for the uh, way to self's turn. Does chat have an opinion? It looks like chat is going to be voting for the double body bag. Flesh bag marauder play. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. All no. right. <laughs> double body bag. Chat's really behind Zira, it seems. Egg. Egg. <laughs> egg. Egg. We have started an egg cult. Oh, that will take it to the one team Malison category. Oh, god damn it. MVP. We'll give it to the card that stopped Wizard from being attacked by flying creatures because I would. I had cards in my hand to kill him that turn if I could attack with a flyer. So that literally valued him the win in that game. Oh yeah, he the, would have been dead otherwise. Yeah, I, I'm sure you would have probably killed him. That was a high value card that game. I'm glad I played it. Yeah, I'm going to sideboard some uh, enchantment removal into my deck. 
No. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering how long that would take. <laughs> uh, I mean, I already gave points to Blaze, so I was... I'm gonna give it to Endrace. Is that fucking fucking... That thing fucked me up. I'm not gonna lie. Endrace Forerunners came in and fucked me up. So if, you hadn't, if you hadn't a willed me, then I had a card to add virtuous run, uh, maneuver in my hand, and I was going to bring it back. <laughs> yeah, you can fuck off. Um, I'm going to give the Wanty Malison award to Pact Weapon because I only have one removal card, <laughs> and I had to <laughs> use multiple spells to get it back in order to win that game. If that last one didn't work, I would have had no way to do it unless I got to my monkey. Yeah, I sh- do you know what? That last turn, I should have put it... I, I, I wanted, in my turn, to put it on the Nightscape Familiar and hold up mana for regenerate, but I fucking forgot, and it pains me to this moment. Packed weapon, good card. <sighs> uh, I'm going to give the backup point to generous patron i know i didn't get to show its thing this game but i saw that card and i was like oh that's really good in that deck so i will give it the pity point because i wish i saw it do do a little more i wish i saw it do a little more as well (laughs) all right so pick number one i'm gonna have to go with the same worm convergence because i did pretty much block off most of the aggro in the game for wizard i didn't know that there was going to be that much flyer strength in this game but it definitely paid his mana cost in dividends so i'm not sure if i said that correctly but fuck it you know what i mean <laughs> the second i'm going to give to the pack blade because Wizard should have been no, not with Craig should have been dead several times. Actually, one in one in a bit times over at negative forty seven. So, like the fact that he could just stay in the game and continue to do stuff despite the fact that he all by, by all rights should have been dead. I'll give that one point to the uh, to the pack boy. So I'm going to give the two to Craig for the pack weapon, uh, weapon and the one to Wizards for the. The sandworm convergence, but all three of the cards that I mentioned. Yeah, the compost with the heartwood storyteller. Every time you were casting an instant, I was drawing two cards. It felt real gross. Boys and girls, that's gonna do it. What did chat say? Chat voted unanimously for the packed weapon. Yeah. Yeah, I can't find that too surprising. (laughs) <laughs> I regret not playing it in my deck last season. That's wrapping up the voting. That's wrapping up everything. The totals for round three of season six with 18 points. Third place goes to Aces and Guitar Man, tied for third. Second place with 29 is going to go to King Craig. And first place, slurping up them points, it's Wizard Lizard with 38. Some math. Now would be a great time to follow and like and subscribe and hit all the buttons that are necessary for enjoying this content that you love so much. That is going to make the season totals. Still at first with 33, we got Vo. Uh, coming in the second, we got Wizard and King Craig with 29. Woo! Uh, uh, fourth is to Mr. Kink with 28, fifth Dap with 25, and coming up the rear, we got Guitar Man and Ace this. And that is everybody now scored for the season, correct? Oh yeah, everybody's on the board, baby. Bidu. Like this video and subscribe to the PTW YouTube channel to see more content and to find out when our new videos release. Follow the PTW Twitch channel and subscribe for ad-free viewing. Don't forget to follow that Facebook and that Twitter to keep up with all the good news. <coughs>
you all for watching. I'm a peasant, don't look at me.